everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. In today's video, I'm going to cover some investment strategies that can help protect against inflation. Because inflation is, I think, going to be one of the biggest stories of 2022. We just got the inflation data from December of 2021. And here's a Wall Street Journal headline covering that. U.S. inflation reaches fastest pace since 1982. December consumer prices up 7% from a year earlier. And here's the caption underneath the picture in the story. It's a picture from a grocery store. Supply chain disruptions have helped keep food inflation elevated. Hmm. How about massive money printing and recklessly loose monetary policy have helped keep food inflation elevated? That would be more accurate. But, of course, it's the mainstream media's job to keep everyone calm as this inflation disaster unfolds. We wouldn't want the public putting the blame where it belongs, would we? And, of course, our leadership is either clueless to the real causes of this record high inflation, or they simply refuse to acknowledge the real culprit. And that's how we get genius plans like this one. Here's a headline from USA Today. Biden unveils $1 billion plan to increase meatpacking competition amid high inflation. And, you know, the government probably could help to increase competition in the meatpacking industry by removing regulations and obstacles to market entry by small businesses, but instead, this administration is pulling its signature move and throwing yet more fiat currency at the problem and getting the government more involved in the meatpacking industry. So, folks, if you like steak, chicken, and pork chops, you better go enjoy them now. Because seeing this news, I expect prices to continue to rise much higher. Now, it's really no secret what the real cause of this wave of inflation is. It's the devaluation of fiat currencies around the world. Honestly, the results were quite predictable. If you shut down economies around the world, reducing the supply of goods and services, and then you stimulate massive demand by creating a bunch of fiat currency out of nowhere and distributing it among citizens and businesses, you're going to see massive price increases. Lower supply and higher demand equals higher prices. It's not complicated. The more fiat dollars you print, the less purchasing power they represent. Again, it's not rocket science. But the Fed thinks that they know better. They think that they can manage the economy from the top down and get better results than the free market. And so this is what we end up with. Soaring prices with really no end in sight. Of course, lately, the Fed has changed its tune a little. Inflation is no longer being referred to as transitory. So I think the word transitory has different meanings to different people. I think it's, it's probably a good time to retire that, that uh, word and try to explain more clearly what we mean. But the new story is that by raising rates and accelerating their taper of asset purchases, the Fed will have inflation under control real soon. But here's a little secret they won't mention. There's no way the Fed can raise rates high enough to get inflation under control. Right now, this is the worst inflation we've seen since 1982. And back then, Fed Chairman Paul Volcker had to let rates rise as high as 16% in 1981 before inflation came back under control. And the decade of the 1980s finished with rates around 10%. The U.S. national debt is about to hit $30 trillion. Think about what that means in terms of servicing the debt. Each time the interest rate goes up one point, the debt service grows by almost $300 billion annually. And to put that into perspective, in the 2022 federal budget, the single most expensive item is Social Security at around $1.2 trillion. So if interest rates rise by just 4%, debt service will become the single largest item in the federal budget. So do you think we can afford to raise rates high enough to get inflation under control? The answer is no. It would be a complete disaster. We are talking the mother of all market crashes, a U.S. debt default and the end of the dollar status as the world reserve currency. It's really just not an option. So what's the alternative? Letting inflation run out of control. And it's not like this is some crazy idea. Inflation is already out of control. And my forecast for 2022 is that it's going to get a lot more out of control by the end of the year. So what can investors do? Well, getting out of devaluing fiat currency seems to be the right idea. And there are plenty of ways to do that. Commodities in general are typically viewed as safe haven assets that will rise during periods of high inflation. Rare art and collectibles, oil and gas, food and agriculture, industrial metals, miners, all of these investments stand to benefit from high inflation. 
And some of these have already been benefiting from this record high inflation that we are now seeing. Just look at how crude oil has performed since March of 2020. And it's not just oil. We've seen spiking prices in lumber, foodstuffs, natural gas, you name it. And of course, none of this is investment advice. I'm just telling you guys my thoughts on the current situation, and this is all just food for thought. Of course, at the moment, I personally view precious metals as the biggest opportunity for investors seeking to protect wealth against inflation. And one reason for that is they really haven't taken off yet. Silver, especially, has been a laggard compared to other commodities so far in this inflationary cycle. But remember, this is still just getting started. There's still a lot more fiat that is going to be printed, regardless of what the Fed says. And there is going to come a time when investors at large wake up to what is happening within our economy and with our monetary policy. And when that day comes, I believe that silver is going to take off like a rocket. And the prices that we see today with silver under 25 bucks, it's a massive opportunity to get our hands on some real money. I think it's important to note that in the past, when fiat currency systems have failed, and they've all failed, there's one asset in particular that humans always default to is money, and that is precious metal, gold and silver. Now, some of you out there might be thinking that cryptocurrencies could fill that role this time around. And to that, I say maybe, but maybe not. Cryptocurrencies have only been around for about 13 years. Compare that to gold and silver's history, which dates back literally millennia. A small position in cryptos might make a nice speculative bet in this kind of environment, but Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin or Dogecoin or whatever your particular preferred flavor of crypto is does not offer nearly the security that metals do especially physical bullion that you can hold in your hand. And you can still get physical silver and physical gold no problem, although premiums are a bit higher than they have been historically. But when the big move in these metals finally comes, that's not going to be the case anymore. To whatever extent physical metal is still available, it's going to fetch massive premiums. And again, this is just my forecast. Maybe I've got it all wrong. This isn't financial advice, and everyone watching should be doing their own due diligence. But one thing's for sure, inflation isn't going anywhere, and it's going to get much worse before it gets better. So get prepared. Thanks for watching, everyone. Do me a favor, leave a comment below to let me know what investments you think are the best inflation hedges. And if you want to see more videos about inflation and precious metals, check out these videos right here. And I will catch you next time. Smart Silver Stacker, out. Thank you.